Hey guys, how's it going? This is Gerald with Real Estate Investing Tips for Beginners. So I want to go ahead and come on here real fast and talk about how to find your first deal in 2022. How to find your first real estate deal in 2022. So one of the things many of you are seeing around the country is <laughs> real estate markets are still extremely hot. Right. Um, and a lot of markets, you know, inflation has kicked in. A lot of markets are uh, retail, above retail, et cetera, et cetera. So there's a lot of people that are still looking for deals, for real estate deals, but they just don't know how to find these deals. So these are three ways, three different let's say avenues that you can utilize to find off-market real estate deals. So number one, number one would be driving for dollars. This is where you drive around your local market and you're essentially looking for properties that look like they need some type of work. So as you're driving your local market, you see a house that looks like it's neglected, right? Maybe windows are boarded up, uh, there's uh, a door maybe boarded up. Grass is a little bit too high. Uh, mail is everywhere, right? Coming out the mailbox everywhere. It looks like may even be abandoned. You know, I've seen a couple of those uh, within the last two weeks. Um, it's just that the property looks like it's experiencing some type of neglect. What you want to do is to go ahead, write the address down, contact the owner. That is one way to go ahead and to find off-market deals. Another way to find off-market deals would be to target properties that are behind on taxes, properties that are behind on property taxes. And so what you want to do is to go ahead and uh, find a list, right? Find a data source. Uh, like datatree.com, right? Like Agent Pro 247. Or what you can do is go ahead and focus at your local county level. You want to find a list of properties at your local county that are actually behind on property taxes. When you find this list of property that are behind on property taxes, you want to go ahead and to contact the owners of these properties to see if there is some type of motivation to go ahead and to sell these properties. Now, one of the things about targeting delinquent property taxes is one of the things you already know that is that the property is behind on taxes. Now, there are some processes and some steps that you want to go ahead and take in targeting properties that are behind on taxes. Okay. So you want to be uh, very, very strategic because this method works extremely well. However, if you're targeting everyone <laughs> when it comes to delinquent property taxes, you're going to waste a lot of money, you're going to waste a lot of time. Okay. So number two would be targeting people who are behind on taxes. Number three, and this one goes back to when I was a licensed agent, word of mouth. Right, guys, I know we're still in COVID. Talk to the UPS person, talk to the person that is the mailman. I want you to talk to people at your grocery store, I want you to talk to people that do your hair, your gardener. These individuals, and obviously the list goes on and on, but these individuals know people who are looking to sell property over a period of time. What you want to do is to ask them if they know anyone who's looking to go ahead and sell at this time. If you buy a property and the referral comes from them, let them know that you will go ahead and pay them. You will compensate them. Obviously, this way works well um, in terms of the compensation if you're not licensed, okay? 
I know licensed agent, a lot of you that are licensed, um, or I think it's countrywide if I'm not mistaken, uh, you all to go ahead and compensate someone who is unlicensed, that is an issue. What I'm talking about is you all that are investors. Pay people, pay people for a referral, put that out there. People are motivated by that. People are motivated by making some money, okay? Gas prices are crazy right now. It's a lot of people out there that can use a little bit of extra money. Okay? So, those are three ways that you can find off-market deals. You can find your first real estate deal in 2022. Okay? Driver for dollars, delinquent property taxes, and word of mouth. These things work if you work them, number one. Number two, all of these have, well, all, well, two of the three have to do with pretty much just word of mouth, finding deals that a lot of people in your market don't know about. The delinquent property taxes, obviously, that's from a list that potentially other investors are targeting, but you just have to know how to go ahead and to break down that list. But the word of mouth, as well as the driving for dollars, these are properties in your market that not a lot of investors know about. They're not necessarily on a particular list. Okay, so get out there, make it happen. Off-market deals in 2022 are definitely the way to go. There's so much competition that's going on. There's 8, 10, 12, 20 bids, 20 offers on one property that's listed with a real estate agent in some of these markets, okay? So, finding off-market properties definitely is the way to go, guys, okay? If y'all found value in this video, please click the like button, share it with family and friends. I'm going to have some resources in the description, mainly one of the things that, that, that people have been asking me about is contracts. So go ahead, check the link in the description. There's going to be a set of free contracts that you can go ahead and download, okay? Also, if you all are looking to dive deeper into the delinquent property taxes, I'm going to have some resources and some links below as well, okay? You all take care. Have a great day.